Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Playing World of Tanks. I'm AJ and today we'll be looking at a game that I had in my one to one which is the Chinese tier 10 medium tank. Now the beginning part of this game is very slow and um, and you know I'll try to sort of like not be as ranty about the one to one and what my impressions are of this tank. I played roughly 100 games in this thing and I, I, I do honestly believe that this is by far the worst tank, worst tier 10 medium in the game. Uh, its armor is not that good, its mobility is not that great, and coupled that with the fact that it doesn't have good gun depression, the only usable armor on this tank in a tier 10 match is its turret. Because of the gun depression, you cannot use it effectively 90% of the time. There's very few maps that this tank excels at. Any city map, it will do generally very decent at. Because you can hide most of your tank behind rubble and, you know, in that case, the sort of like the turret sort of like pans out. Even the turret isn't that great. Type 62, oh sorry, the T62A actually gets a much better turret, much better DPM, and worse hull armor but better mobility. So I don't know what the trade-off was when they were designing the one-to-one. -one. It's just, it feels unique but it does not feel competitive sometimes because if I'm driving an E5, and I know how bad the one one's gun depression is, I'll just pick a ridge fight. There's absolutely nothing that the one one can do to you in a ridge fight. It just can't, it, its gun cannot aim fast enough to hit like an E5's weak spot. Even worse, let's say if it comes against something that has very small weak spots, let's say, you know, maybe a T62A or, you know, a, an Object 140, something that can aim really fast and fire really quickly, it will just like slaughter the one one and I mean that's in where lies the problem. I don't know why they would give any tank, let alone a medium tank, minus two degrees of gun depression. It's just you're just fighting against a tank like half the time, trying to get it into position. You know, trying to be effective. The FV4202 would outclass this tank um, nine times out of ten because it is because so many of the maps in this game are actually hilly. They are not actually flat. And if you think if you don't know what I'm talking about, try driving the VZ120 or the 121 on like the test server, you'll realize like how bad the gun depression is like if there's a small ridge sometimes I cannot aim my gun down far enough to actually you know shoot something. Uh, if there's if there's a heavy tank that's close to you, you cannot aim your gun down far enough to actually track him which you know should sort of like goes to show you how bad this tank is um, and how not fun it is to drive sometimes and you know here I'll probably showcase to you like what is it like when you don't have gun depression and you're trying to fight against a tank that has gun depression now after like waiting here ho hoping that the enemy heavies like push around the corner I sort of like decide now that if I don't do anything pretty soon the game is gonna get out of hand or either we're gonna lose pretty badly or you know we're just not gonna have enough of I'm just not gonna have enough of an impact on this game and I don't want to be caught like sniping at the end and like five enemy tanks that are left alive. So over here I try to use the Strachan in order to side scrape but there's a hit, there's a little, you know, incline behind it and I don't have the gun depression to shoot anything if I go down. So I try to stay here hoping to see if, you know, I can bait a shot from the T-125 and maybe take a shot in return. The E5 very smartly puts around into my lower plate and since I can't see the E5 I decide that you know uh, my victim will be the M103 so I put a shot into his back and go back now I kind of like realize I can't actually take on the E5 because you know gun depression being so much fun in this tank I'll probably take a shot from him before I even get to aim at his weak spot or aim at his hull so I'm just gonna stay here until either he shoots at me or decides to go away in which case, you know, I'll probably jump out and try to take a shot. Now here I see the E5 turning, so I'm guessing he's he's trying to go get back to base. And I get the money shot, which is a tracking shot plus doing damage to him. Because I held up some of these tanks here enough, I've been actually, uh, the my team has been lucky enough to get some damage done on the other flank. So over here the M103 basically is now staring at me. I decide to take a shot at the side of the M103 but I kind of miss and I go back to 
sort of like hugging the rock again. Over here, as soon as the M103 is dead, I tracked the T110 E3 and managed to do damage to him at the same time. I know the M103, the T110 E3 fired, I should track him again, not wanting to, him to so like move so I can get behind him. I wasn't so sure if you saw the hesitation, I wasn't so sure whether he had used his repair kit. Over here, I managed to damage the T110 E4 and I get behind him so he can't turn his tank around fast enough to shoot me. I somehow managed to bounce the T110 E4 and but he gets taken out, no harm done there. The Type 62 decides to be chicken, fire one shot into me but he gets taken out relatively quickly. And now this T30 is caught in the open with his pants down and he's not gonna live that long either. So over here we have two very uh, healthy heavy tanks, the FE215E and T110E5. I decided to put a shot in the T110E5 because he was uh, out on the outside more. I didn't, didn't want to take out the FE215B head on since the DPM on this thing is kind of scary. So he goes after the uh, one h 3 who had fired and missed I think and so he knew he could have taken on easily. The E5 correctly decides to hide behind the 1A3 but I was not gonna sit around and try to let him you know fight me behind cover so I just go around and put a shot and the E100 finishes him off. Now there's just a matter of a little bit of cleanup uh, left in the uh, in, a, in the enemy base. Um, the only thing I'll notice is that I shoot at the T32 he tracks me and I use the dead tank in front of me to hide myself from the 268 that's left alive. So I mean if you if you have any comments, uh, if you have any thoughts about the one to one or gun depression in general, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm more than interested in listening to it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I still maintain that this is by far one of the worst tier 10 uh, tanks I've driven so far. And hopefully, I'll get to see you all and your lovely faces and your comments on the next episode of uh, Playing World of Tanks.